Kurt, let's start on this Shrep for News. They call him Shrep, uh, I should say. What do we know? Well, we know that it's not going to be a quick uh, departure. He did announce internally that he's going to leave sometime next year. Uh, they have actually created a new position, kind of a senior fellow position that he's going to take uh, at the company. I'm told it's part time. Uh, he's essentially going to be what I gather is advising, staying on a little bit, helping with some of the technical stuff that he already oversees. But really, this is a huge deal because not only has he been there a long time, he's well respected internally. He oversees so many important elements of Facebook, including AR, VR, uh, augmented, or I said augmented reality, artificial intelligence. Um, the hardware division. So all of this different technical stuff that really drives a lot of what Facebook wants to do in the future is under his purview. And so the fact that he's leaving, certainly that creates an issue. Andrew Bosworth, who's been at Facebook almost as long as Mark Zuckerberg, will replace him as CTO. But this does come after a number of other high-profile departures. Carolyn Everson, who was running global, global, global ads. Fiji Simo uh, uh, leaving. She was running Facebook product. Uh, both of them are now at Instacart. This at a time when Facebook is under a lot of pressure about how well it te its technology actually works to moderate harmful content. Uh, do you think this has anything to do with that, Shrep's departure? So what you're talking about is the AI here, and what Facebook uses is, is they use that AI to uh, essentially automatically search user posts for violating content, right? Nudity, hate speech, uh, uh, terrorist propaganda. And this is the type of stuff that Shrep and his team were responsible for, that AI team. Now, it has been a huge uh, a thorn in Facebook's side. It's been a criticism of the company that this technology is not where it needs to be. Uh, I don't believe that he's being pushed out in any way because of that. He's been there such a long time, and, and these have been issues for the company for a long time. Now, it is possible, though, that at a certain point, uh, this type of stuff just wears on you, right? It's tough to continually uh, be pushing a rock uphill like, like the technology here. And there was a New York Times profile of Shrep a few years ago where he cried multiple times during interviews with reporters because these are such big problems. And so I do think that it could wear on him. I don't necessarily think he's being pushed out as a result of any of their success or lack of success in the AI front.